The saga continues. Previously on Dragon Ball Z, after returning home from the past, Trunks sought out revenge on the androids, along with Cell, who was waiting to ambush him. And so Trunks now made plans to go back to the past one more time. Upon his arrival in the future, Trunks made short work of the deadly duo number 17 and 18. Already knowing of Cell's ambush from the Cell of the past, Trunks lured out the sneaky Cell and killed him to finally end the terror which preyed on the life of others for strength. Ready to celebrate, Trunks plans to reunite with the Z Fighters to tell them that the future is now safe thanks to his training in the past. Finally, with the androids and Cell gone, Trunks makes way for the past. Upon arrival in the past, Trunks makes a request to meet in the hyperbolic time chamber with Vegeta to relive some old memories. So glad you can make it, Father. Do you remember this is where we trained? I wanted to tell you in this place that the nightmare is over. I have avenged Gohan and all the others that the androids and Cell have killed. In the future, you and the rest of the Z Fighters can now rest in peace. But I had to come see you alive just one more time. I felt that I just had to tell you that it's over, Dad. become a savior in the future without Goku? If Kakarot dies in the future, my bloodline becomes the protector of Earth? What does this mean for the timeline? I said I would never again fight after Cell, but this, this shows that a Saiyan Prince must reclaim his throne! You may not be around any longer for me to prove my strength against you, but mark my words, Kakarot, now that you are dead, I will become the most powerful warrior until we meet again! And so, Vegeta vows to become stronger for the day that he can meet Goku once again as a proud Saiyan Prince. Wallpaper now available for download.